I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is the 1st of June. It is Saturday morning, 2024, and this is your friend, Angus Bucket, with a thought for the day. We go straight to the book of Revelation, chapter 21, and I'm reading verse 5. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, write, for these words are true and faithful. That is a wonderful promise from God. He doesn't do patch-up jobs. He doesn't try and renew something that's old and broken. He does a brand new job. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, one of my favorite verses in the Bible, If anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. It is a miracle, an absolute miracle. And it's something I never, ever get used to. And I've seen it for 45 years. You preach the gospel with love, with sincerity. You challenge the men or the women, the boys and the girls. I've seen it from Sunday school to men's conferences to ladies' meetings. And then you give them an opportunity. You say, what about giving your life to Christ today? And you see the change in the countenance of the person. A person who's down and out, who's broken, who's been defeated. All of a sudden, it's the power of God, folks. It's the Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit that moved in the upper room. A group of people who are cowering in the corner, absolutely petrified, waiting for the Roman soldiers to come in and to execute them, all of a sudden filled with the power of God and complete new life coming into them. Remember Peter, he preached his first sermon, 3,000 people came to Christ. The same thing has happened wherever I go. I see it and it touches me deeply. A man who's an alcoholic and he's giving up, he prays that prayer. He asked Jesus into his heart, and God takes that thing away from him. Broken marriages restored, physical healings taking place. He is the God of the impossible. Put your trust in him today. I want to pray for you. Maybe you've never prayed this prayer yourself. Why not do it on the 1st of June, a new beginning? Pray this simple prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I'm tired of living the way I'm living. Today, Lord, I surrender my old life to you, and I ask you to make me a new creation. I want to start again, Lord. I repent of my sin. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I will serve no other gods but you from today onwards. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Now go out and tell the first three people that you meet what you did today. You are a brand new person. Jesus bless you and goodbye.